creating a sample project using the native ladder logic editor. Uh, we are going to create a simple test project using the native ladder logic editor. The project's going to show how to display and manipulate digital inputs and outputs, as well as take an analog input and scale it to a human readable engineering value that can be checked against limits to determine if it's within an acceptable range. For this sample project, we are going to be using an HMC 3102A-M for our base unit. It is a 10.2 inch HMI plus PLC. And then we'll use a single I.O. card, the HMC3-M0808Y0401T. It's an expansion module. This particular model, the 10.2 inch model, can support up to five expansion modules, but for this example we will just be using this one. We will be using MapWare 7000. I'm going to open that up in just a minute here. And the micro USB configuration cable, that is Maple Systems part number 7431-0119. So let's go ahead and start up MapWare 7000. I actually have it pinned to my taskbar down here, but you can also go into your start menu and it should be in the Maple Systems folder. Mapware 7000, Mapware 7000. I have a user accounts control setting, so I have to click OK when I start it up. Uh, when Mapware 7000 first opens up, it gives you this welcome screen. If you had recent projects, they would be listed under the project list here, as well as in this area right here, and you can just directly open up a recent project if you have any. Um, in this case, we're going to create a new project. You can click this new link here, or you can go project new. We are using an HMC product. Also available are MLCs. This is Maple PLCs. They don't have a built-in screen, but this sample is going to have some HMI screens, so HMC. Uh, we are using the HMC 3102 family, and we're going to leave it in the horizontal display orientation. Some of our products have different models within the product family. The HMC 3102A-M is the only model in this product family. And then the programming language, you have the option of Native Ladder and IEC 61131-3. This first project sample project is going to use Native Ladder, and that is the default. The second part of this Getting Started Guide will create a project in the IEC programming environment. This is a standard created by the IEC committee, and it, it just uh, gives you a different way to program your logic. But for the first run through, we're going to do Native Ladder. So go ahead and click OK. Once you click OK, Mapper 7000 will create a default project and it, it gives the project a name just based on the model that you've chosen. So HMC 3102AM app. And you can save your project with this name, and then the next time it'll just append a one or a two or a three or whatever to the end of this name. I like to give my projects a descriptive name, so at this point you should save. And it will give you the option to save your project with a unique name recommend that you save into the projects directory. Maple uh, Mapware installs into C drive, Maple Systems, Mapware 7000, and then uh, the projects directory is where I would recommend that you uh, save all your projects just to keep things organized. A project consists of a .mpl file with your name that we'll give it right here, as well as a folder. So when you're backing up a Mapware 7000 project, make sure that you grab the folder as well as the MPL file. This folder contains all sorts of all the graphics associated with your project. So let's name this. We're going to name this native ladder sample. And click save. And so this is the project information window and you can see that the name of the project has been updated to the name that we chose, native ladder sample. This screen right here is just a project information summary. Uh, it tells you how many screens exist in the project, how many nodes or other devices that you're communicating with, and the number of tags, languages, alarms, and logic blocks. Every project that you open will open to this screen as a summary. 
The first thing that we are going to do with this project is set up the IO module. We'll take note here that we have 183 tags right now. We're going to expand the IO allocation and click on the expansion modules. There is no base IO on this module, but some of our PLC models do have base IO included. And we're going to, you can right click edit, you can simply double click, and we're going to select the HMC3-M0808Y0401T. The part numbers for the HMC3000 IO modules indicate how many IO points they have. This particular model has eight digital inputs, eight digital outputs. The Y indicates that it's got relay outputs. Six of these outputs are relay, two of them are PMP, PWM outputs. And then over here are your analog inputs and outputs. We've got four analog inputs and one analog output. And those analog inputs are actually universal inputs that can do temperature with the thermocouple and RTD. And we're going to configure this module because part of what we're doing with this project is taking a raw analog input and converting it into an engineering value um, that we can read as a human. We're going to configure it to read 0 to 5 volts for its input. So we'll click the analog tab here. We're just going to use the first uh, input. We've got, of course, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then the output available to select because this has four inputs and one output. And the type, if we scroll down, these are all the different input ranges it can take. We're going to select this 0 to 5 volts. Click Confirm, and it shows up down here in your Settings Preview. And then click Close, and click down, Download Configuration Settings. That means that this will get downloaded to the I.O. card when we download the project to the uh, HMC. And click OK, and we are done configuring our I.O. module. Once it's configured, MapWare 7000 automatically generates a bunch of tags for the I.O. module. If we go back to this summary here, we went from, I think it was 183 to 269. So it's it's created a lot of tags if we go to the tag tag window here. So anything in this tag category that says default tag, these are tags that were already in the project. System words and bits that uh, are used by the HMC for specific purposes. And if we scroll down, 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 down. All right, here's the top. Now we've got these user-defined tags. These are the tags that were automatically added when we added in that I.O. module, and most of them will be X, Y, or M addresses. You can read more about all of these default tags in the MapWare 7000 programming manual, as well as the I.O. module guides. And these are just how you access the inputs and outputs and also the configuration of the I.O. module.